Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this bag for a little girl. I use the same pattern as the cat pot holder for the bag, so I'll put a link on screen and also in the description below so you can crochet the head, sets of eyes, nose, muzzle and ears. The second headpiece, this one here, is worked the same as the first headpiece except you leave off the hanger part for rows 11 and 12. I'll be adding a face to both sides of the bag, but that isn't necessary. In this video, I'll be showing you how to crochet the side and strap piece, which has worked in one piece, and also showing you how to put the bag together. I'll be using 8-ply wool, which is like worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got grey for my main colour, green for the eyes, pink for the nose, white for the muzzle and black for the inner eye. I've got my sewing thread and sewing needle to stitch it together. I've got scissors, I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook and I've got a 1.25mm crochet hook. Um, the 1.25 is to make the whiskers with my four ply crochet cotton. I've got a button. It's not the kind of button I'll end up using but our craft store is closed down so I'm having trouble finding some of the supplies I need and I'll use a darning needle to weave in my ends. Now for the side and strap piece I'm using my main colour and I start with 12 chain. For row one, I miss the first two chain and I work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. Now rows 2 to 25 are worked the same. We work 2 chain and turn and work 1 half double crochet into each stitch to the end. Now I'll just repeat that row until I get up to row 25 and I'll be back. Now I've finished my first 25 rows. Now I'm going to start tapering it in until I get to the strap. For row 26 I start with 2 chain and turn and work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches and work 1 half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And 
and work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For rows 27 to 30, I work two chain and turn. and work one half double crochet into each stitch. Now I'll work another three rows of two chain and one half double crochet into each stitch and I'll be back. For row 31 we work two chain and turn, work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches, one half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For rows 32 to 35 we work two chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each stitch. So that's for rows 32 to 35. So I'll work up to the end of row 35 and I'll meet you then. For row 36 we work two chain and turn, work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches and one half double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. And now we start on the strap. We work two chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each stitch. Now I'll continue on these stitches for the strap. I'm going to make my strap measure 26 inches or 66 centimetres but it would depend on the size of the little girl you were going to make the bag for as to how long you'd want the strap. So I'll continue on the strap and I'll be back when it's my desired length. Now my strap's long enough now, so I'll start on the other side. I start with two chain and I work two half double crochet in the first stitch one half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two half double crochet into the last stitch. Now for rows two to five I work two chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each stitch. So that's for rows two to five. So I'll work them and I'll be back. For row six we work two chain and turn and work two half double crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For rows 7 to 10, we work 2 chain and turn and work 1 half double crochet into each stitch. So that's for rows 7 to 10. So I'll work those and I'll meet you at the end of row 10. For row 11, we work 2 chain and turn and we work two half double crochet in the first stitch, one half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and two half double crochet into the last stitch. And that's our last row of shaping. For those 12 to 36, we work two chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each stitch. That's for rows 12 to 36. So I'll work those rows and I'll be back. At the end of row 36 we fasten off but we leave enough yarn to stitch it together. Now to put it together we stitch our ends together just across the bottom there. I'll put a small white dot on each of my inner eyes and I'll stitch the nose to the muzzle piece with the bottom of the nose just going across the centre circle there. Using the wool I used to crochet the nose I'll embroider a mouth on the muzzle and I'll stitch my inner eyes to my outer eyes just in at the bottom now I'll stitch the muzzle onto the head. I'll just leave a little gap along the bottom to make it easier to crochet the side and strap part on. And I'll attach the eyes and I'll embroider on some eyelashes just at the top of the eyes using the black wool. Now the head is done except for the whiskers. I'll crochet and attach the whiskers once I've attached the side piece. Now I find the centre of my side and strap piece and I attach that to the centre of the head which is just in there and I pin it on and then I'm going to Pin up the side, just working working it together like that. And then the other side the same.
and my strap part gets to just behind the ear, just into there. Now I'm going to start crocheting around. So I'll join my main colour cotton just at the beginning of the strap. And I work one chain and a single crochet in the same place as the chain. And now I'm going to work a single crochet into each stitch along the strap. I'm crocheting in the tail. So I'll continue along the strap and I'll be back when I reach the end of the strap. Now I've done my neatening along the strap. I'm now to the side part. So I do one single crochet into each stitch into the side part and into the head. So I put my hook into the side part and then through into the head and bring up a loop and then finish my single crochet. And I work like that right around the bottom and side until I get back to the strap. So a single crochet into each stitch around through both thicknesses, the side part and the head. So I'll work that and I'll be back. When you get back to the strap, you slip stitch in the first chain and fasten off. And that's the first side joined to the side strap. Now I do the whiskers. I've got four ply crochet cotton and my thinner hook. And I just crochet lengths the chain. I make them slightly bigger. Than the edge. I want them just to go across the edge by a couple of stitches. Now this one will be fine for the bottom one. So it goes across just by a few stitches and I'll stitch it down. I'll do four for each side. So I'll work my whiskers and I'll stitch them on and I'll be back and we'll attach the other side. The first side's finished with the whiskers attached. Now I turn it over and attach the second side the same as I attach the first side. So pin it on.
I join my wool to the beginning of the strap. And work one chain and one single crochet in each stitch along the strap. Until I reach the end of the strap there. So I'll work the strap and I'll be back. I've finished the strap so now I'm going to start joining the side to the back. So I'm going to single crochet through both the side and the back part in each stitch around, the same as I did with the front. So just work around like that. So I'll continue around till I get to the strap and I'll be back. Once I get back round to the strap I slip stitch in the chain and fasten off. Now I'll weave in my end and I'll attach the whiskers to the back and I'll also attach a button to the front just in there and the last thing I do is insert a piece of hard plastic into the bag And there's the finished bag. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.